Well, look at the bright side of all this rain. It's definitely going to wash off any road salt on the underneath the truck or within any of the body panels or something because it's coming down pretty hard. Gosh, just saw a lifted F-250. Amazing. Hard Rock Channel. Oh. The height of the fourth, man. Oh, you know, I feel like it's a nice sunny day outside to make an OnStar call. Let's try it out. Nothing. Nothing at all. My regular radio still works too. So it is very sad, and it's come to my attention, and your guys' attention as well, to remove something off the truck. And I guess it is a powder on the channel now to just keep removing things from the truck, reducing weight, making things faster, better performance overall when it comes to these trucks, and Silverados, Rams. Gosh, I need an F-250. <laughs> anyway, so we got this Z71 decal here, and this is basically the last thing that would be well, I don't know, as an option to really take off, there really isn't anything else that would make sense to take off the truck. The only thing that's really left that's on the truck in its stock form is the Z71. And the reason why I'm considering this is because it's really the only thing that really jumps out. I know the, the red Z matches the taillight color, but that is basically it. Well, I mean, the, the white 71 and 4X4 also matches the clear in a way of the reverse lights and of course the back but it's basically it the front doesn't match anything up there how modern led it is and of course if i go led in the back here and i go led up on top of the reverse lights up there then this will absolutely match nothing so that's what you got to keep in mind here because if i change all these things out making them look a lot better that's not going to really match anything and then you guys that are really, really, real good spectators, then you'll see that I have red shock boots, red, because they're just really dirty and got paint overspray. They'll probably turn black eventually because of all the overspray and stuff I do underneath. So by now, you guys are probably just like, take the shist off your truck already. People are going to think, you know, I could be driving a two-wheel drive, but I mean, they kind of, in their minds, they're thinking that has to be four-wheel drive. So this is a little piece of information that even if you guys have been watching forever, you might not even know this. And because I think I did this before I even started making videos and that is that this decal was not original right here i used to have pinstripes going up and down the truck 
don't know if I have an old picture of the truck, but I had pinstripes going up and down the truck here on the side. I had the dealership take them off, and I guess there was some kind of miscommunication, but they also took the Z71 decal, and at the time I said, you know, I want those decals there. So I went back and I got them put back on, and that's when these came into play. And if you guys have a Z71 Silverado, you realize that these these decals actually look a little bit different. I don't know if they changed them in certain years, but this is a different style Z71 sticker than what is usually factored. However, here's a little update on the exhaust tip that I got going on down here. I think it finally broke it in a little bit. It gives a little bit more of a pop, a more of a zing, a more of a <laughs> We'll get them on soon, brothers and sisters. Don't worry. Look at that. <laughs> Second, please. Don't move. Water soak this out choke. Let's see if we can find a good nick spot. Oh, that's not good. So I found the best option is to get your hair dryer and I keep this one in the garage. I know it's kind of weird, but as you can see, I use it for a lot of automotive stuff. And you just want to, you want to heat up a corner of it somewhere around here and then it makes it a lot easier. As you can see, I was nicking it, and then it's just coming off in pieces because of how cold it actually is outside. And it's in the 30s, but I've been used to it for quite a while, so I guess it doesn't feel as cold to me anymore. So let's do this. I'm gonna put it on the high setting, just wave it off and come right off. Even when, even when I changed out the tow mirrors, I, I realized you know those mirrors were on it since day one, and it keeps taking this stuff off. It doesn't look better, and I enjoy it in the long run, but for the short run, it touches me right here. Ah, it's hot! Whoa, I didn't notice that. Oh man, that guy is... Oh, oh yeah. That looks so good. Oh my gosh. Less is always more, guys. Think about it. Everything everything less is always more look at that it's so clean on the truck let me give you guys walk over here oh yes oh my gosh that looks so clean well let me show you guys the other side with the decal still on oh that thing needs to go man oh let's go back over here oh yes oh my gosh how did i I was debating it, guys. I literally was. I wasn't saying anything, but I actually was debating it. Should I really do this? When I was nicking at it, I was saying, you know, I can't take this off. And then I finally did, and this looks so much cleaner. Holy cow. Holy moly. And no, there's no chipping in here. Perfect. Oh, I figured I'd try some of this. Roman compound. And then I thought, you know, some a little bit more abrasive won't hurt. Oh, that's kind of weird. I don't know if this is supposed to be for this or not, but you know, I couldn't find I can still see the outline a little bit from the adhesive, but I think this should take care of it. Well guys, what a switch up from holding and the letters and everything. This was actually very easy. Still gotta get to the other side though. Oh my goodness, look at that fold in the truck that you can never see before. Oh my god. So if you guys live in a climate like me, nice and cold, 30 degrees right now, easy process. Of course, if it's bacon, you're baking out in the sun, 80 degrees, you can probably just peel that off just with a, with your pinky. Oh my! Well, just in case you guys missed it, I'll show you the other side, no problem. Free of charge, free of charge! All right, so I said, if you guys have the same model of this, you know, it's probably five, 10 horsepower. And then if you apply it to the truck, it gives the truck an extra hundred. So we got, off, low, and high. I sit on the hot setting. Sit on your hottest setting and high. Let's go. We got it. It's all off the truck. It's finally all gone. There's nothing else to take off the truck, man, and it looks so good. Ha <laughs> ha. Piece of paper.